Hey guys, this is Luke Keane from TechGeek.biz and how are you doing today? I'm fantastic. Now, today we're going to be looking at making a function out of um, Send Mail to make this very easy and for some of your scripts that you're going to be using. Of course, everything's going to be posted up to TechGeek.biz so hopefully you'll follow some links and hopefully this will help you. Alright, now let's have a look. Now to make a function you've got to know a few things. One, it's going to be set out slightly different to a normal script. Start with, you have to declare it as a function. And two, when you save it, it's going to be saved as a .psm1 file. Just because. And you have to, add, you have to actually save it in a different directory to normal so the computer, well, when you open PowerShell it knows to look for functions and it'll find it there in the folder. Now first we'll have a look at the script and then we'll show you what else you need to do. Alright, now we're going to go with, you have to set com commandlet bindings and parameters. Now these are all pretty much the same as each other except for the last line to subject and body and they all need to be mandatory so if you're missing one it's not going to work and it'll tell you that it's not going to work and it takes it from the pipeline and that's pretty much straightforward for the parameters now credentials here's a dummy email account that I set up <coughs> and username password if you haven't done PS credentials before I have a video on that back a few and I'll put a link in the notes for it and your password, this is where your password should have been set up and where it should be stored and uh, and then it's going to grab the credential file so after all that then it's going to put it into a nice long string for you and it's going to use send mail to that's where it grabs that from from that's from yourself the dummy account I set up the credentials so that credential is here pretty easy username password uh, mail pretty easy subject so there's another one for the subject which is up here which has to be there and the body which has to be there all right then it closes out that process and closes out the function so that's not too hard that's pretty straightforward now let's go look at where you got to put these things all right so this has got to be put in. So you got your documents, Windows, PowerShell, modules, and then you have to make a folder that's named the same as the .psm1 file. So notice up here it's sendmail-mailalerts.techie.biz, and this is named the exact same thing with a .psm1 file. So when PowerShell opens, as I said before, it'll scan this directory, the, the modules directory, and it'll pick any up so you can use it. So let's go see this in practice then, eh? So that's already been done. So I've already, that's just laziness on my behalf. So we can go to, and notice you can actually tab complete. So, because normally you use send mail and you can do two, or not. Send mail message, sorry, and two. When you make your own function, it's not send mail, you'll get the same as you set up in the command uh, commandlet bindings over here. So it knows, and you can tab complete them. So that's just fantastic. So you can just say, I'm going to be sending some mail to Luke Kim at Tech Geek biz because he is subject he is the man and the body who else is the man now yes I am a bit cheesy and I don't mind a joke now and then so that'll come back as an error if it doesn't work and I'm just going to say that that does work within a few whatever seconds hopefully not minutes and that's it that's it for today 
pretty straightforward. So the reason why you want to do this is a if you're putting a lot of send mail messages into scripts, this could be fantastically easy. So then we'll go back to a screen here. So instead of saying you just want to say get event log, I'm not going to be too detailed, and then you want to put that output into a, actually wrong way around. So we'll just put that as event log equals get event log. Then we can use that send mail if we can type. Send dash mail if we can type. And then we can do the two. We won't worry about that now. Something. And then we can do save for the body. And we could put that variable into the body like that. Now it's pretty easy and straightforward, but and if you wanted it going to the same person all the time, you could obviously set that up in the command line binding. And yeah, just like that. Now this is pretty easy and fantastic in the same process. So I hope this has been very helpful. If you have any uh, questions, comments, or feature requests, as in you want me to update or add some functions to uh, some ideas or functions or anything else for or more examples, I'd love to. And please let me know either at that email address, Luke underscore Keen at techgeek.biz, or in the comments below, or on the website. You can't go wrong. You'll find me everywhere almost everywhere anyway. All right, guys. Thanks, and have a great day.